Yeah. You know what? Just just debut this group at this point. Forget the rest of the show. Just debut them. Just debut them. I can't. Okay, my Mew Mew, please. Blackhead Pearsong make, at least for me, the best freaking melodies out there. And I'm talking like vocal melodies here. Like whatever magic uh, Rado puts in these songs is insane. Like, I. I <laughs> Hello, fellow insomnias. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be checking out Dreamcatcher's latest comeback called Justice. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited for this, honestly. Whenever Dreamcatcher come out with any type of music, you just know it's going to be a banger and an absolute blast to watch and listen. Uh, because the music videos are always insane. And, uh, listen, I haven't even pressed played yet. And it already looks like we're going to get a good storyline here once again. Um, and some insane visuals uh, from the... Uh, from the thumbnail there, uh, Xion is looking absolutely insane. I didn't even know she dyed her hair. Yeah, anyways. Um, so yes, all that is left to really see or is to listen to this song. Because I, I haven't listened to the teasers at all. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I mean, it's Dreamcatcher. It's probably most likely going to be uh, rock as always. But uh, who knows? We never know. Anyways, the song is called Justice. I've got the music video up and ready to hit play. So, I'll stop chatting. Let's start watching. Here we go. May they descend as heralds of justice to... Oh, did not read that fast enough. Wait, wait, wait. What is that at the bottom? Hello? What? Why is there a bar? What is this? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it won't go away. That's annoying. Um, well, whatever. We're gonna have to deal with it. I wanna go back. Uh, to exterminate evil from the world. Okay. Secret diary. Oh gosh. Wait, was that the tree? Oh, the tree. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh my dear god, indeed. Huh. My god, you done. Holy! Hey! Oh wow, I'm not. Wow. Hey. Yes. Dude. I'm in love with her, with her red hair, come on. Ooh. 
Ah, no, you got glass on. I can't take it anymore, you can You know, you know what, you know what? I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this at all. Listen, I'll be transparent with you guys, okay? Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love their all of their songs. Um, however, the past, however, the past few comebacks, um, not that I didn't. Not that I disliked the songs, but like if I had to rank them, they would probably be on the lower tier. All right, um, but you know the 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 bar to which I am gauging this is already really really high. Um, like I really really like their previous stuff, um, but I I do I do like the new stuff that they were coming out with. However, this. This, to me, felt like we were going back. This felt like we went back in time a little bit to uh, an older Dreamcatcher. Even the music video, man. The music video, uh, we're going to watch this again, but it gave me big, like, old Dreamcatcher vibes at times, as well as, like, uh, it looked like there was references to their previous comebacks as well. And I'm talking about, like, um, post-Maison, right? Um, like the dystopia series, there was a lot of, uh, references to that, or at least that's what it looked like, and, uh, as well as, like, Chase Me, You and I, I dude, when they were dancing in that, like, room, I don't know why, like, the red room, it, it, it reminded me of, like, Chase Me, or, um, someone, I think there was a point as well that looked like You and I. Uh, but, you know, we're gonna watch again, just because I want to watch it again. Oh, so is that a reference to the, the tree? Tree of, uh, wh wh what is it? Language? Um, is that what that tree? I know it was in Scream, but I I'm pretty sure it's also in, like, Boca, because it's, the tree has to do with something, uh, with the lore, but... Anyways, but now it's on fire. Yeah, ju just the vibe. Just the vibe of this. I don't know why, but it's giving me like all Dreamcatcher vibes and I love it. Oh my god, you. Your visuals and your vocals are killing me right now. Gosh, gosh, gosh. I'm gonna be pausing, by the way. This, the second, like, listen, I'll, I'm pausing, okay? I'm sorry if you hate it, but we will. Dude. Her orange hair is insane. Holy! Uh, the, 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 the sword again. That's in Scream. No? This is, it reminds me of Boca. Ah. It's 
so good! I'll let it play, I'll let it play, hold on. I love it. I, this is also like the structure of this song is bringing back to Deja Vu, which when they announced the comeback, I was praying for like a Deja Vu style song. Now we're not there, um, but it's very close, like in which we've got a lot of like a, like a slower kind of build up and then the chorus just hits. It just hits. Um, but that chorus, man, let me tell you. I love whatever the instrumentals it is. I can't tell if it's a guitar rift or if it's some sort of like like violin or something. Either way, it's like a, a string-based instrument. Uh, but that melody that just goes, the rift, oh, it's so good. And then you've got Xi'an's vocals powerful vocals um they they're adding like a i, I want to say um a vibrato but whatever it is it's uh it's got a name and i cannot think of it just yet um i know i know there there's a word That little staccato kind of. Mm. It's like somebody was playing with a fader. I love it. I think it's a guitar riff. Yeah, it is. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is their best comeback in a while, for me at least. That reminded me of like Vision. This. Just me? Yeah, it's not quite deja vu, but you know. So good. God. These shots, man. There was a shot like this in Scream, wasn't there? And they were like circling, going like this. <laughs> oh! This too! Was it you and I? I don't know, but they go like this. Uh, it's a headbanger! Wait! Okay, never mind. Virtuous 10th mini album. That's insane. We're already at their 10th mini. <sighs> the fireflies. It's gonna be good, isn't it? Dude. 
I from a stadium. No, you're right. You're right. I can't speak right now. That's why I'm looking at the comments. <laughs> I'll let the comments speak for me. <laughs> uh, most underrated vocalist. I agree. Oh, I saw that. It was number one. Like, it debuted at number one, the album. I saw that on Twitter. I was like, God dang. It must be. It must be good. And boy, is it. But for some reason, I just wasn't expecting something this good. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, Dreamcatcher, yes. <laughs> Justice in this world if this song doesn't become successful. Truth. No, but like... Like I said, it's not that their previous songs are not good. It's just that their their bar is so high that like it doesn't matter what I put last. Like if I I I ranked all of their songs, it doesn't matter what is last. That song is still a banger. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, it's like. You know what? Let, let me let me quickly listen to Fireflies. I'll just do a snippet just to see what I'm getting myself into. I'm not gonna react to it now. I don't I don't have the time. But oh, it's their ballad. It's their ballad, isn't it? Woo! Okay. Of course, with it with a name called Fireflies, I should have expected a a, a ballad. Um. But yes, anyways, the album's gonna be a, a, an absolute banger either way, um, by the looks of it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, like I mentioned, I don't have much time, so I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction, as always, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Annyeong.